We've been island hopping around San Blas, Panama for a number of weeks now. And in all honesty, we were literally blown away by the natural beauty of this place. Around every corner was a new island to explore and a new beach for Sierra. A lot of you out there sent us messages saying, you'll love the San Blas. And yes, you were right. We just didn't have any idea how right you all were. In Bocas del Toro, we embraced the jungle, the waterfalls, and even caves full of bats. But now here in San Blas, we are embracing life in a different way. It was all about exploring the incredible connection we have living in and around the ocean each and every day. It was about uninhabited islands, exploring life under the sea, and embracing new cultures. But most importantly out here, we've been able to prioritize time together as a little family. But with the Panama Canal and Pacific Ocean in our sights, we knew our days here were numbered, so we plan to take full advantage of our last remaining weeks here in San Blas. Yeah. It's sexy mama. Yeah. <laughs> you bust me filming your mom? Hmm? <laughs> Why don't you go swimming? Yeah, so far the San Blas has been just treating us really, really, really well. Um, this is Smoke Dog Snapper. Look at this. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And I was going to do some editing and some work and Plucky comes by and he goes, No way, man. Let's go kiting. Today's video is sponsored by Jackery. If you like to go off grid and still have all the power you need for your toys, then the Jackery 1500 is for you. We're on this little island here in Panama, absolutely in the middle of nowhere. We've decided to come out here and spend the entire day filming. So we're gonna use the Jackery to power everything from our ice machine to charging the drone to making hopefully pina coladas is the end result. The Jackery is pretty cool. It has a 1.5 kilowatt hour, that's a 1500 watt hour lithium ion battery. It has an 1800 watt inverter, so it can power some pretty hefty things. On the front here, we've got a 12 volt DC charger. We've got solar panel inputs. Uh, we've got USB-C and normal USB with quick charge for your phones. And most importantly, we've got a 110 volt AC sine wave inverter to power all the good stuff. It's pulling uh, 86 watts of power. And at that rate, it'll run this ice machine for the next 13 hours. One of my favorite features is you can plug in four 100 watt panels into this bad boy for a total of 400 watts of sustainable solar power. You could basically do this indefinitely. It's pretty cool. Ooh, it's working. A thousand watts. Ooh, I'm excited. That's delicious. Is it good? Thanks, Frank. 100. I got a message from the team over at Jackery saying that, hey, we've got a new, bigger, and badder version coming out. It's supposed to have more power, more capacity, more of everything. It's being released right now. So if you want to be one of the first to get your hands on that, just check the link in the description below. I'll put it right there. Uh, and also uh, something coming up on May 12th. It's going to be Jackery Day. Be sure to check the link uh, for more details and description on what's going on there and uh, what the team's going to be doing with that. That's it. Thank you very much for watching and back to the show. Originally from my homeland. Oh. Oh. 
doesn't sound good at all. You hear that? No. Doesn't sound healthy. I think something got put down there. Did you throw something down the toilet, Kaza? I did not. Do you think Nugs did? I don't think she would. <sighs> Tell the truth. What did you put in the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Sierra, did you put something in the toilet? All right. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened, but it's making a terrible noise. Maybe yeah. something accidentally fell down there. We did have a pretty rough sale, but Maybe. I feel like you would see it if something fell in there. Yeah. Anyway, let's just pop that motor off and see. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. It is just hair. Really? No. It's hair. Blonde that's hair. That's not that much hair. It's not a lot of hair, but I suspect that there was more hair. Because the first time we did it, there was a lot, uh, like a big noise, and then the noise got less and less, so I bet you it ripped up some of the hair. Oh. And some of it went down, but anytime you get hair around this impeller, it doesn't really chop up things anymore, right? It just sort of swishes it around. Ooh. Listen to that though. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, look at this. So I got the motor apart. Mm -hmm. So whoever put this together from the factory put the seal in backwards so the spring, which is not stainless steel, uh, is facing the water and it corroded, which caused this to leak, um, which I think then got into the motor. So you can see how this is like the brushes and like there's oh, all this wow. in here. And so now the motor when you take it apart, the magnets come out and <laughs> these guys are supposed to be, see how it's all wet and nasty? Yeah. Should last longer than that. How, mu how much do these cost? A couple hundred bucks. But luckily, da -da -da, wow. brand new spare. I'm going to check to make sure the seal is right. Yes. <laughs> Please do that. Yeah. Ew. Ew. So the new motor is on there? The new motor is on. Oh yeah. It's a lot quieter. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Ryan. Just don't make them like they used to, huh? A little more in mission. What a nice spot. Yeah. This little island here. I don't think anybody really lives on this island. We're just gonna go into the beach and chill for a little bit. Maybe do a little snorkel. This place is beautiful. I don't even know the name of this little island that we're at. It's just a really chill spot. Like, I know the anchorage that we're in is called the Hot Tub, and it's just right over there. Dallas is anchored over there. We are just cruising around, and we are just looking for a beach because the Nugs just loves the beach. Like, she's become a little beachcomber. No! Sierra! What did you find? <laughs> and so, every time we come into the beach, her job is basically to like collect all the shoes and bottle caps and lighters and I don't know, whatever else. Is that part of your collection? Look at this collection. I don't know, she's just really blossoming out here. Like she's swimming and uh, I think she's she likes to put her mask on and get her face in the water. Are you loving it, Nugs? <laughs> <laughs> We've just been really like focusing on just spending quality time together. Uh, I think that's what you're actually supposed to be doing out here. It's just, it's really special. <laughs> go get it, Nogs, go get it! Did you see it? What do you see, Sierra? Mm. What do you see? Mm. Do you see the pelicans? Mm. 
pelicans. Come on, come on, come on. Show me, where are they, where are they? Sierra, look at it, look at it. Are we close? Where are they? So every day we've come to the islands, we've been hanging out and playing, but we also like to watch the birds. Sierra really likes birds. And right now we're stalking a couple of pelicans that are in the palm trees above us. We're trying to see how close we can get before they fly away. Yep, there's one right there. He's looking at us. Okay, let's go. So we placed uh, an order with a guy in Panama City over WhatsApp and he goes to the big store in the city and then they deliver it out here. It's really amazing. So look at all the stuff we're getting. We got turkey, we got cheddar, we got Swiss, we got Greek yogurt, Parmesan cheese. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. You gonna do a quick double check? Just a quick double check because there's a lot of stuff on here. So yeah. we got turkey, 39 bucks. So how much was it? Yep, so it's $318. I think what they do is they, they tack on like basically 30%. Um, for their delivery fee, which is a bit, but I think it's fair. Yeah, um, I mean, they still have to, to be get able out to get like cheddar cheese and stuff and Greek <laughs> yogurt in the middle of nowhere is pretty insane. Oh, lunch time. When is the last time you had a turkey cheddar with fresh cilantro and avocado? Sandwich? What? <laughs> I don't know, it feels like da -da -da. months ago. Wow. Wow, Brian. This looks amazing. Amazing we can get that out here after being here for so long. Huh? I know, what a treat. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. This is uh, pretty special. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta admit, Americans know their sandwiches. Well, last time I was down cleaning the bottom, I noticed that the zincs are super corroded. So uh, reckon I better change it pretty soon. I've got a spare zinc. So this is the zinc on the rudder uh, that is tied to like every piece of metal on the boat that comes in contact with salt water. Uh, so the idea is that um, electrolysis will make this go away instead of the important and more expensive bits on the boat. So this is like a sacrificial zinc. Uh, we have one on either side of our rudder um, and the only problem is the ones that are the right size they don't have a big enough hole so the hole for the bolt that puts into the rudder is actually much bigger on Delos so um, I've got to uh, dive down I'll just take the old one off get the old bolt off bring it back up and then I'll know how big to drill that out them just in time another month they'd be totally gone <laughs> the difference I think the last time we did it was in Annapolis when we did the bottom paint so it's like 20 months ago so I've got to make the holes in this one the same size as that one with the drill and then project off the old project list today. Cool, that's exciting. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, going to make some lunch. Ooh. Maybe cook some focaccia. That sounds nice. Bless you, my child. <laughs> what did you 
you cook, honey? Angela. Um, this is smoked dog snapper. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, we're done, people. Well done, sir. Look at this. I don't know, maybe you it's didn't make clear it and it's like lolly fine. I don't know if I want to eat that. You eat yeah, you gotta eat it. The next morning, the wind was blasting through the anchorage. My new amigo Plucky dropped by and insisted I get my butt away from the computer and instead go for a kiting session with him. It was an offer too good to refuse, and soon I found myself flying across the shallows at warp speed. Our friend Plucky from Sailing from Freedom, he has a YouTube channel too, uh, he's been kiting here a little bit. Um, up in this anchorage kind of further up in the shallows and yeah he's up there right now and i think uh, he seems to be doing pretty good the wind is pumping today it has been for the last week and he's really been go wanting to go but it's so hard like with sierra and me chasing him dinghy so it's really cool that he has a little kiteboarding buddy <laughs> I was sitting on Delos and I was going to do some editing and some work and Plucky comes by and he goes I said, well look, you had the frustration yesterday of not fighting You need to go just for a little while to get your uh, out ah Important So when you're sitting there editing, doing all of that rubbish people are far out you need, to, you need to have some aggro time Anyway, so it's good, alright, I'm going to follow him up Let's do it <laughs>
I made it, I'm home. How was it? I'm exhausted. Yeah? I haven't done that in like, what, two years? You guys were flying. We were flying, and this, this other guy showed up. Alex, his name is. Oh, nice. So there's three of us out there, and... Fun? Was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I didn't do any jumps. No. I'm not a jumper, but I can go back and forth real good. It's windy, huh? Plenty of wind out there. Yeah. And it's real nice, because right behind the reef, you know, you, it's just wind. Sometimes if you're behind the islands, it'll like create like different winds and sometimes it'll be a lot and there'll be no wind, but there it's very constant. He's like, come on up, quit fooling around or I'm gonna blow that whistle on you. <laughs> up next on Delos. You ready? Ready. Here we go. We leave our little island paradise behind and set sail further to the east to a place called Isla Tigres, where we get wind of a Kuna independent celebration. We get invited to the celebration and get to witness firsthand the incredible culture of the Kuna people that have inhabited these islands for centuries. Your, your first Swedish word. <laughs> Wes. Second. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you the other one. I'm <laughs> not really, no, I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> Don't die! Just get close! <laughs> <laughs> 